Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs G's art channel. Today I wanted to share the idea for making a tin totem pole monster. Now, where I'm living at the moment, um, during isolation, they're not collecting the recycling anymore. So in my kitchen, I've got a great stack of cans that I've used and I was thinking, what can I do with them? So um, I've painted them and I do like a bit of colour. So as you can see, I've been on the internet and I've been looking up totem poles and I've been learning about the great American history of totem poles along the Pacific Northwest where there was about 30 tribes who used to uh, carve animal and human faces into wooden totem poles and that used to tell the story of various um, tribes, histories, quarrels and that's how history was passed on in that region. Um, so they have various symbols on the faces and I've stolen some of those ideas here. So when you've done this, you can use the tins as storage. It's stacking storage, so it's quite a nice idea. So I've got my pens in that one and I've got my lids in that one. And actually, then I thought, I'm going to do some more. These ones I haven't even opened yet. So I'm going to put them in the cupboard and it's going to be soup surprise when I open the cupboard because nobody will know what's in them, which is a bit of fun at the moment anyway. So you can paint straight onto the labels, which is great about tins because um, it's harder to paint onto glass jars and they don't stack so well. Um, but if you don't have paint handy, easy enough to get a strip of paper and draw face on top of it. Um, and then just stick it round the tin. So I'm just going to finish this one. This is my cheeky monkey face. So just kind of put some hair bits round the side there. Finish the ears off. There we go. And that's my cheeky monkey face that's going to go on another part of my totem pole. They have very strong eyebrows and kind of mask-like eyes often. They're outlined and really strong, bold shapes. So I'm going to get a piece of sellotape and there goes another tin of soup and sellotape it on there. And there is another totem pole monster and he can go in the middle Wow, you can't even see that, it's gone right off the screen. And that is going to be part of my dinner surprise whilst I'm in isolation. So get your paints and your pens out and start on your totem pole monsters. And don't forget to like, share, turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.